Ellie Scott Lee from the Boxing Booth Gym and I'm 2 and 9. I want to be a world champion at multiple weight, so obviously step by step, but yeah, that's, I think if I don't do that, I'd massively underachieve, but obviously one step at a time. The runs, the dieting, that's, that's the harsh bit. When you get in there and that bell goes, it's just a different feeling, that kind of something out you. Then as soon as it's finished, like, you're like, I want that feeling again. It's just, yeah, it's, it's, as soon as you're in there, you're, that's the only place you know. So yeah, it's priceless. Do you know what? For me, I feel like I always had that style, you know, that I like to get involved and throw body shots. Basically, probably get it a little bit too much. So the pros always were something I always wanted to get stuck into. And I feel like I can show my character and you know the way I like to fight a lot more. So for me, it wasn't much of a transition, but it was one that suited me. I don't know when to shut up, so kind of, yeah, in the ring, I don't always know when to stop punching. So yeah, I kind of carry that through. I like to get involved in just the energy I bring. So I think it kind of, my personality shows while I fight. Do you know what, it went like I saw someone box and think, oh, that's what I wanted to do. It's always something more closer to home for me. So it's more family orientated than, you know, oh, I want to be like that person. It's more something that I was driven to do. <laughs> you ain't got a choice. I always say this to someone like, it's it's what you chose and then we're the lucky ones. Like we ain't got to get up and go to work. We're doing what we love. So yeah, no, it's every day for you. You can't really think twice about what you're doing. It's not something you can really put your finger on. I think it's just something that you kind of got in you, you have that sort of thing. And, it's, it's like a second nature to a lot of us and people will say it's just a part of your life and if you don't get up and train you're still thinking about what, what you've got to do so it's, it's kind of my everyday thinking you don't it's like just as soon as that comes you know what's what's got to happen obviously your first loss always sore and i remember i was out in ireland so that was that was sore but um i always think an injury sometimes feels a bit worse so when I broke my hand, it was a long, long, long period. But now I'm wrapping them properly <laughs> with the old tape. See what I did there? So, yeah, no, that that was a bit of a stinker. And it took me out of the ring for about 18 months. But like I said, it builds character. And I had a cast and I actually cut it off myself. I was just deluded. But yeah, that paused my career for a long time. But it taught me a lot of lessons. One of them is to listen. Obviously, I think I was a lucky one. I've been eight, out twice in the process. But obviously, if it wasn't, I was meant to box in March last year. so. I would have been about four fights, five fights at deep, so it has paused it, but I can't complain because there's people out there that haven't even got to box. But I think I'm going to be scared when the crowds return. Yeah, probably probably end up getting a bit carried away, but I might get a stoppage. <laughs> you never know, so... No, I'm buzzing to get everyone back. The captain, mercy. <laughs> Like, it's not just about, you know, people got a goal, but to build a legacy is a completely different story. So legacies, I think, is something everyone aims for, but not many people reach it. So if I could be one of those people that do build that, then, yeah, it would be a nice and on the cake for me. Five years from now, I'm trying to work out how old I'll be, six, seven, eight. <laughs> yeah, in five years from now, I'll just, yeah, like I say, hopefully on the way to building that legacy and, yeah, a world champion for sure.